let me show you today my gyroscope. The construction is simple. Let me disassemble. It has three parts. We have this base that has a tube where we can put this axis. This is freely to rotate. And this part is nothing more than a piece of wood. We have this tiny electric motor that has three compact discs connected to the axis. This will provide the rotating mass in order to obtain the gyroscoping effect. And the motor is powered by two AA batteries. And we have the switch to turn on and off the motor. This is a magnet that we can move from left to right in order to balance the gyroscope. Inertia is the tendency of a moving body to remain in its state of movement. Here in the gyroscope, the moving object is the disc that is rotating and we will have rotational inertia. This will generate an angular momentum. The angular momentum can be represented by a vector. In this case, the vector of angular momentum points in a direction perpendicular to the plane of the disc. Once the gyroscope is in motion, the vector will point in a certain direction and the gyroscope will try to remain in that direction it will resist a change in the direction of the angular momentum vector therefore in this experiment we will demonstrate how the gyroscope remains in the position in which the movement is initiated and how responds when we try to change the direction of movement. Now let me put the gyroscope in motion. I'm going to turn on the switch and let's wait a few seconds until the motor has enough speed. Once the gyroscope is rotating with enough speed it will try to remain in this direction. It will not want to change. We can move the base and tilt it and the gyroscope always wants to remain in the same direction. If we try to change the direction, for example I'm going to try to move the axis in this direction, the gyroscope responds moving upwards. And if I move in the other direction, the gyroscope points downwards. I will push here and move down and now moves up. We can also put a weight here, for example, and the gyroscope start spinning clockwise in response to the applied torque. And if we put the weight in the other side, it will move in the other direction. This movement that you see here is called precession. It is a movement of all rotating bodies, including our planet Earth. The Earth has a small movement of precession because planet Earth is a natural gyroscope. 